Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're staying safe and clean. So I want to talk to you guys today about Google Tasks, which is what I use to keep myself organized with checklists because I don't know about you guys, but I predominantly use checklists for a lot of stuff that I do in my life, whether that be for traveling, going to buy grocery, shots I need to do, or even editing stuff. So I want to give you guys a little insider on how I use it, show you guys a checklist I've made, and then help you guys set up your own as well because that way moving forward, maybe this can help you stay more organized and maybe you find a new way to keep yourself accountable for a lot of things you got to do. But all right, with that being said, let's get into it. So here I have my OnePlus 8, and what you're gonna do is download Google Tasks from the app or Play Store. It doesn't matter which one you use, so long as you get it, download it, and you know, we'll go from there. So once I open it up, you're gonna see right now my shopping cart. So this shows me anything I need to buy in terms of when I go to the groceries and food I wanna buy. Stuff like this is very handy to me because I always forget what I need to buy. So, you know, keeping a checklist, very helpful. Now the way it works is if you find something that you're already done with your list that you have written down, you go ahead, check it, and it goes away. Right here on the completed section, you can click it and it'll show you every single thing you've ever written and checked off. And let's say you wanna bring something back that you recently checked off, you can just go ahead and click it scroll up and it's gonna be put right back to the list where you had it. Personally, I like that a lot because sometimes I don't wanna rewrite a lot of stuff even though I pretty much did there because that's just how my brain works. But the point is you don't have to do it. So right here in the bottom left, we're gonna go ahead and click this little burger icon. And here you're gonna see the entire list items that I have, meaning every single type of list that I have on my accounts, which as you can see stuff that pertains to YouTube, shopping cart, clothes I wanna buy, long-term to-dos, my 2020 goals, which no, I'm not sharing any of that with you guys right now. But these are the kind of lists I keep because they really do help with a lot that I wanna do. Now, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and make an account, sign in, log in, get ready, because now I wanna teach you guys a couple more tips on what you can do, as well as get you started with your own first list. Okay, so when you make your account for the first time, everything's gonna be blank and you're gonna see my tasks, and then as well as that plus sign. So you're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign. Now here I want you to create your first task that you want to do such as let's say homework once you have it written down you're going to see it right here now i want you to click on it and in there you're going to see a little bit more details of things that you can add to that specific item here you have add details so adding details just basically means like you can give a little description of something that you want to write for this so if you have something specific for the homework that you want to keep in mind when doing it like refer to page 206 you can do that Add date and time. Add date and time just basically sets a reminder. So you can always have a reminder of when this specific thing will be due. So let's say it's due in a week, you go ahead and put it on the due date that it's due. And every time you look at that item, you will see when it is due. And add subtasks. Add subtasks is my favorite thing because here you can write more than one thing that pertains to set homework. So let's say in your homework section, you have things such as make sure you do page 205, make sure you send it to teacher's email, and then make sure you tell Greg that his part sucked. So now when all is said and done, you're gonna see your homework. You're gonna see the details, which is for me, make sure to use pages 206 to 300. You have the due date and time. You also get to have your little subtasks, which you'll know it's a subtask because the dot to complete it is over here for the main thing, and then the subtasks are within it. And that right there is probably the coolest thing I think that you can do on Google Tasks because with there, we're creating just one big topic and having things within it to keep you organized. I think that is a really nice step to keep yourself more accountable with what you have to do, but also to remind yourself, hey, you may have homework due, but let's get in specific as to what we gotta make sure we do so that way we know we're completely done with everything. And now to wrap things up, I want you to click the burger icon again in the bottom left. And then here you're gonna see that you have not only the one list that you have already made, but you also get to create a new list, right? So if you go ahead and create new list, you're gonna continue on and create different lists, which I advise you to do if you have other things besides homework, such as maybe you wanna do a laundry list, a, a shopping cart, maybe a travel list like I do, anything like that would work. But let's say you quickly wanna rename your list because my tasks isn't really what you wanna call that specific list that you have. So with that, it's fairly simple. So what you wanna do is go to the bottom right, click the three little icons there, and from there you're gonna click rename list, and now you get to change my tasks into whatever it is that your list pertains to. Oh, and I forgot to mention this when you have subtasks. When you have something like homework as the main objective and you have subtasks underneath it, the cool thing is once you're set with everything, you don't have to individually check each one. You can just create the main one, tap it, and it's all completed. All right, so that is basically how I use Google Tasks, why I use it, I gave you guys some tips. Hopefully you guys followed along and created your own account. But I think at the end of the day, this is gonna be only for people that really wanna use checklists because I know not all of us use it in this way. And not only that, but you wanna use it specifically on your cell phone. 
And don't forget, you can also have this on your tablet. So maybe you just want to keep it open at all times and keep an eye on it. But all right, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something, you use this, utilize it so you can keep yourselves more organized. I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you. It's all good. But all right, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comment section. If you are new, feel free to subscribe for more tech videos in the future. Not sure when, but I have a list. Be here. But all right, guys, stay safe, stay clean. See you guys in the next video.